Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with the daily stock market and look at how nice we are up on the month guys up $4,000 pretty nice feeling but even moreover we're up nearly $9,000 in the last three months. So today what we're going to be talking about is the favorite video on the channel guys so get excited and it's every single Sunday if you're new to the channel we talk about the top stocks. It's anywhere between 10 stocks all the way to 20 stocks if we have a crazy week going on. And guess what, guys? It's one of those weeks where we're talking about 20 stocks in the video. So leave a thumbs up on this video if you appreciate me doing 20 stocks on this video. We are going to be doing rapid fire on these stocks. So if you want me to do a deep dive on one of these stocks, make sure you comment the one below and whichever one's commented the most or thumbs up the most, I'll make sure to do a deeper dive on those stocks. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first stock on the list is going to be Workhorse, ticker symbol WKHS. I think most of you guys are familiar with the stock. It's an EV stock. And what we're really waiting for on this one is the partnership with USPS. So this is like a billion dollar contract waiting to be finalized. And the longer it's pushed out, the longer you're going to see Workhorse go down. So we need some news immediately about this partnership and this deal that's going on. So what you'll see is they're almost down 9% in the last week. And they were even all the way up to $41 at one point on February 10th, and they had a 13% fall. And if you're new to the channel, typically the first stocks we talk about, the first three to five stocks we talk about, all the winners that we have to talk about and give updates on. Now, what you'll see is it's headed back down to the support of around 33 to 34, but it looks like it stopped early before that and could be setting a new resistance now. Now, remember, if we look back at the last year, a strong support was right around 16 to 20 dollars hovered right around that 20 dollars mark for a long time 23 dollars remember now it's up to 36 dollars so we've seen some great gains since then so it looks like the previous resistance was right around 30 dollars which is now the support and it could fall all the way as low as 30 dollars i really don't think it'll go below that but if it does fall as low as 30 dollars i'm definitely going to be buying more stock and loading up on workhorse so anywhere from thirty dollars to thirty four dollars is definitely in the buy zone and remember if this contract gets approved it's definitely going to be great for long term because once that contract gets approved it's a multi-billion dollar contract so this can easily push workhorse to 55 45 dollars anywhere in that range so definitely do some research, look into it yourself, and see what you can pick up about Workhorse's contract with USPS. That's the most important thing when looking at Workhorse this week. Now another big winner that we've had this month is SPCE, Virgin Galactic Holdings. And this is a super speculative stock that's all about space exploration. So basically, they make rocket ships. It actually says it designs spaceships, which can fly anyone to space safely without the need for expertise or exhaustive time consumption training. The company was founded in 2017. So they are a super risky one. If you made a lot of money on this one, we've made over 76%. Then you could take some profits or set a trailing stop loss for SPCE. I would personally be setting my buy alert right around $45 to $30 to buy into SPCE. And I know I said we're going to rapid fire a bunch of stocks, so let's go a little bit quicker here. I know you guys want me to talk about a lot of different stocks, so that's what I'm doing for you. I'm trying to get to as many different stocks as possible. Now, in the last week, we're down 6% on DraftKings, which is the next stock here, D-King. And in the last month, it's up 9%. So if you guys think Mary Jane stocks are a little bit played out, remember, sports gambling used to be totally legal as well, especially online sports gambling, and it's getting legalized and becoming more legalized. So this is a great industry you might want to be getting into. DraftKings is one of the leaders. P-E-N-N, Penn, is definitely one you want to look for also. We've made a lot of money on them. I was going to actually put them on the list. But I chose to talk about DraftKings instead just because they're well known and they've been in the news lately because Kathy Wood, 
who everyone knows and loves, actually just bought a large amount of DraftKings, right? So if the smartest investor in the world is buying DraftKings at $60 a share or $50 a share, wouldn't you think that it'd be a good time to load up on some DraftKings? Remember, she's a long-term investor and majority of her plays that she does is typically for three to five years or longer. So have that mindset when going into DraftKings or anything that you hear Kathy Wood is talking about too. So personally, I'd love to see it dip back down to about $55 or $50 a share. I'd love to load up on this for a little bit more for long term. We've swing trade this company in the past. It had some pretty good swing trade motions going on when it dipped down in July. When it dipped down in November was a great time. A lot of people were taking advantage of that and you should have been also. But I think we will see more opportunities. And if you're holding for long term, I actually don't even see anything being wrong with buying in at $60 a share if you're planning on holding it for three or even five years. Bio Nano Genomics, the next one, ticker symbol BNGO. We have another great big winner for us here. And it's up 17% just on Friday, guys. So absolutely killer. We've made a lot of money on this stock. I've been buying it in all my accounts. And the first video I made talking about them, I was telling you guys to enter actually at $5. It was like $5 and something cents. And then at $8, we talked about them again. And we were telling you guys to enter even at $8. Right now, this is $13 stock. And I know a ton of you guys want me to talk about penny stocks. And a penny stock can mean a lot of different things for a lot of different people. Typically, penny stock is referred to when you're talking about a stock that is like 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents, 50 cents. You know, it's a penny stock. And some people even think of it even cheaper than that. Now, for some people, even below $5 is considered as a penny stock. But what I want you guys to do is start readjusting your mindset to having a penny stock below $20. Because there's so many more opportunities that you can open yourself up to if you even up your budget to $10. Because look at this perfect stock here, $13 a share. And it can easily go to $40 or $50. Same thing with NEO is a great example. Just because NEO is at $13 or $15 or $20 a share, does that mean you're not going to be buying NEO at $20 a share, even though it's at $60 a share right now? So that's the kind of thing you have to look for is a great company. And I'm not saying that this one's going to go up like that, even though it is up 2,690% in the last three months. So this is one that you're definitely going to want to do your own research on. It's a great company. Genomic sector is a sector that you don't want to miss out on in 2021 and beyond. In the next five years, there's a lot of people saying that the genomic sector could actually outperform the electric vehicle sector in the next five years, right? So this is one that should definitely be on your list. So this one I would treat as a penny stock and I would love to be buying right at about 10 or $11 on BNGO and just hold these penny stocks because this $13, the next thing you know, if you look at it in two or three or five years, this can be a $130 stock. Now that does not mean go and pour your life savings into it because for all we know, these penny stocks are the most risky ones. So it can easily go back down to $4 or even lower. And that's why I typically don't like very small stocks too, like under $5, for example. Because what happens is those come with the highest risk available. So if you want to minimize your risk by a very, very significant amount, instead of looking at penny stocks, just start looking at cheaper stocks at the $10 range, $15 range, even $20 range, because those will outperform penny stocks in the long run, especially if you're a beginner and you don't have too much experience. So with that being said, let's talk about the next penny stock on the list, and that's SNDL, Sundial Growers. And let's get back to rapid fire. Sorry I went on that little tangent there, but I thought it was important to go over that for you guys. Now, what you'll see is they have a support that they actually just identified right around $2. So if you want to buy in at a small amount at market price right now, I think it'll be good to hold this company 
because remember they were just at three dollars so if you want to swing trade it up to three dollars i think that's a good option there ride the momentum up but you can also hold out until they go down because there is a risk that they go down to $1.50. $1.75 is very realistic. And then if they go down to $1.75, then you can swing them back up to $3 too. So if you're looking for a great penny stock, this is one of the better ones on the list. And actually the next one we talk about is also is actually going to be my favorite penny stock play. And if you guys didn't see my full video on SNDL, I actually compared them with some of the other big Canadian companies. And honestly, Tilray was the better option if you are just looking for a nice Mary Jane stock to hold long term, even though SNDL can be a better swing trade for short term. So the next penny stock play is going to be ticker symbol AMC. And if you guys are wondering why I'm talking about penny stocks so much in this video, it's because I got like a million requests on that little survey that I asked for what stocks you guys want to see. People said, just talk about penny stocks, just talk about penny stocks. Probably 50% of the comments or 30% at least were all just asking about penny stocks. And we also had a lot of comments. So the next one on the list is AMC. This is my favorite penny stock play right now, guys. You heard me and I will say it again. This is my favorite penny stock play. At $5, this is an absolute buy. Remember, this stock shot up to $19 a share, guys. Now, I'm not saying it will go that high again or it has a chance to go there in a short amount of time. But even if it goes back up to $6, $7, I would like to exit right around $9 to $10 or even $15 a share. I think 9 or 10 is a better exit point. Swing traded up, looking for about a 75 to 80% gain on this one. And I'm going to be holding, personally, I'll be holding this one anywhere from three months to six months. Now, obviously, this one's very rapidly changing. So it is possible that it can hit my $9 price target even in two weeks or three weeks or four weeks. We don't know when it will get there, but I'm pretty confident that this one can go back to at least eight to nine dollars a share now there's obviously no guarantees and it can go back to two dollars for all we know so remember whenever i say that never put your life savings in it with these penny stocks especially i can't stress it enough penny stocks options crypto do not put your life savings in it only disposable income and pocket change that you're not absolutely devastated if you end up losing a couple hundred dollars here couple hundred dollars there a thousand dollars ten thousand dollars is a lot different writing on penny stocks amc options and crypto so get that through your brain if you want to be an intelligent investor and a smart investor start minimizing your risk identify that there's risky investing and there's less risky investing and put your more money at the less risky investing you can still do high risk investing but just make sure it's a smaller sliver of your portfolio. All right, rapid fire, guys. I have to keep reminding myself. All right, so what we'll see is 5% on the day. Next one here is Twitter, T-W-T-R. It's up 23% in the week, guys. This is a hot stock right now. Everyone's asking about it. You should have got in when I first recommended it three months ago. I even recommended it again at $45 when it hit that big dip again here. So I'll tell you guys right now, I am not buying until it hits $55. $60 is the most I would go for Twitter. It definitely will hit $60 again. You can count on it. Mark my word. $60 is really reasonable. So make sure you set your price alerts for about $55 to $60. And it's a great long-term hold anywhere from two years, even five years. All right, next stock that everyone wants to know about is ticker symbol P-I-N-S, Pinterest, down about 3.5% on Friday, up 3% in the week, and was up 14% in the last month. So it is a hot stock, up almost 40% in the last three months, and 266% on the year. And it's recently made a jump from its last previous support and resistance, which was right around $70 to $60 right so in my opinion this one will be a buy right around 70 to 75 i would maybe even buy it like 76 but i want to hold out for most of my buying if it hits the support 
right around $65. That's where I would, that's the sweet spot for PINS. It's a great long term hold. You can swing trade it if it does go below $70, is the only price points I would recommend for a swing trade. But if you're buying right around $75, $78, you definitely want to be holding for long term. All right, guys. So the next one we're talking about, PFE, is one of my favorite swing trades on the list at the price it's currently at. So in the last month, we'll see it's down 5%. In the last three months, well, in the last two months, it's down what? Like 18, 20% or so. Remember, this was a $42 stock and they just got a lot of new contracts and i know you guys saw they got a new huge contract here and here look at this too they also got another new one with with canada they have a four million doses with canada and this is huge for moderna but moderna if we actually click and look at them they are sky high right now they're at an all-time high but if we click and look at um, pfizer which is a huge one they're at almost at a 52-week low here, right? So they're pretty near a 52-week low if you don't really count what happened, you know, in February and March because everything was dipping at that time. So they're pretty low right now. I think this is a great opportunity to swing trade this up. I think this is a great one to swing trade up, see a 20% gain, and get out on it. I think this is a pretty safe one too. Um, in my opinion, it's even a possibility you could run an option on this one. You also might want to wait until you see a little bit more positive confirmation. Because I think that this one can be going down to 33 and $30 a share is not out of the question. In my opinion, I'm loading up right now as we speak. I have $500 in the stock. And remember, this is also a dividend play. So 4% dividend on this stock. So this is one you don't want to pass up. I'm personally swing trading. I'm looking for about a 20 to 30% gain. I'm going to be loading up more money if it goes lower too. I want to build this position to be around six, $700, even maybe even $1,000 if it goes as low as $32 or $30 a share. All right, so the next one everyone wanted me to talk about is CCIV. And wow, look at that, guys, up 26% in one day. So it's no wonder everyone wants me to talk about the stock is because it's seeing, it's seeing amazing gains. In the last week, it's up 15%. So remember, it did have that dip, and it's up 110% in the last month, guys. So even if you bought in at the end of January, which wasn't long ago at all, it saw an over 100% gain. So yeah, it makes sense. Everyone wants to be able to talk about this. The volumes over. We'll look, start looking at the volume on these stocks because there are a lot of hype stocks people want me to talk about, and you can see the volume. It's very volatile stock. Also, a good way to know if a stock's volatile if you look at the fifty-two week high, fifty-two week low. If it's a huge wide gap, that means you know it fluctuates very rapidly. Now, in my opinion, on this stock, my thoughts about this stock is it's a big rumor and what you really want to see is an actual factual partnership in writing or some news or something we need something to grab onto that the partnership is real now i have not looked in the last couple days in the last probably three to four days if the partnership is real so that might be something you guys want to look into and when I say the partnership's real, obviously, you know, there's very good suspicion. So it's a little bit more than a rumor. But the thing is, it's not official, the partnership here with Lucid Motors. So this is actually a SPAC stock. And the rumor is that it's going to be Lucid Motors. But at the end of the day, Lucid Motors can IPO themselves the traditional way. They don't have to do a SPAC through CCIV. And the thing is, if that SPAC with Lucid Motors never takes fruition the thing is the cciv stock can fall all the way back down to 17 18 even 10 dollars a share or even lower because that's why everybody wants in this stock and also because the hype and people are just piling in they don't even know what it is they don't know that it's a spac stock they don't even know what a spac stock is they don't know what lucid motors is but that's the reason 
why this stock is getting so much traction. And if it ends up not going through, it could be the worst thing in the world and you can lose a lot of money. So this is definitely one of the more riskier ones on the list that I would not have a lot of money into because there's nothing fundamental you can look at this one about. There's nothing even technical you can look at this one about. This one's basically like playing the lottery and hoping that the partnership goes through. Just like the workhorse contract never came through with USPS, I'm sure the longer there's no partnership, no official, official, official details, this one will go down soon. So if we can buy right at about $30, $32, $25, I think it's a great opportunity and I would wait on it. It's up 110% in the last month. You definitely wanted to be buying at the end of the January and towards the end of February is probably not the best time to buy the stock. But for all we know, this is one of those stocks that can rally another 30-50% in the next few weeks. All right, so the next stock you guys want me to talk about, ZOM. Everyone's been asking about it. And guys, it's another stock that's up 180% in the last month. Wow. I guess you guys just want me to talk about every stock that's just up 100% or 180%. We might as well just start filtering through and see what stocks are up the most in the past month. And if it's up over 100 200%, let's just start talking about it on the channel. <laughs> Let's just throw money into the stock if it's up that high, right? Because things only go up and up and up, right? That's how the stock market works. And I'm just totally kidding, guys. I know you, you're here just to make money and you want to make money. And that's why you chase the stocks that are going up and up and up and have 100% returns because you want to make money. But the thing is, past results and past performances, 180% a month, doesn't always dictate future success. So remember, write that line down. Past results, past performances don't always dictate future success. That's very important to understand with the stock market. Now, with that being said, I'd like to buy in right at around under $2 a share. I think that this one can easily get back to $2 a share, even $1.50. Just wait on the dip. You don't want to buy at an all-time high. In the last year, it's gone up 2,000%. So I would say that this is definitely not the best time to buy. Wait on it. Be patient. There's no reason to rush into this stock just because look at the volume, 100 million on volume. Wow. Everyone just wants in the stock. I would say hold off on it. Put your money elsewhere. Retrain your mindset and stop always chasing those 200% gains in a day or 200% gains even in a month. That's not sustainable and it's not long term. It's more like gambling. Yeah, don't get me wrong. You might hit a few and you might make a lot of money for a month or even two months. But the thing is, it's not sustainable over the course of a year, three years, five years. And I really, really want you guys to be set up for success in the future that you can look back three years from now, five years from now, even 10 years from now and say, hey, I'm really glad I started investing for long-term instead of chasing short-term returns. Because you can build your wealth without looking at penny stocks, without looking at 180% gain. Remember, this is more of a day trader strategy when you're looking at penny stocks. So if you are interested in penny stocks and looking at volume, and if every stock you trade has 100 million volume, or 80 million volume, or even 50 million volume, you might want to consider becoming a day trader. Remember, I'm more of a long-term investor, and I also do swing trades, and I also do high risk, and I also do options, but I do a lot less of it. Because majority of the time, I'm setting myself up for 6 months of success, 12 months of success, 24 months. I want to see where's my portfolio at in 24 months. I'm not thinking of, oh, where's my portfolio going to be at tomorrow? You know, oh, are we going to have a positive day tomorrow? I'm not really worried about that. And I get green every single time because I'm focused more on what is it, what's it going to be next month? What is my profile going to look like three months from now? What's my profile going to look like two years, five years from now? Sorry, guys. I know this video is probably turning out to be forever long, but I think it's just important to go over it. And we'll rapid fire through these next ones. So United Airlines, 
We are looking at a travel stock. I think travel can dip. Airlines just got a boost from stimulus though. So I would love to be buying under $40 a share for a long term. You can also swing trade this one up to $50 a share. But I would like to see long term results from this one. And I can see this one going to $80 a share. So I think that this one can easily be a 100% return if you plan on holding it for two to three years. All right, next one is NEO. Everyone loves it. All right, this is a great long-term one, and I believe in this one long-term. I would like to be buying this stock at about $50 a share. I think it's realistic to get there again. You can buy it at 50. You can even swing trade it if it goes like 60 again or 80. I think it's possible in the short term, but I'm definitely gonna be buying and holding this one for long-term. The volume is 40 million. So even a stock like NEO, one of the most popular stocks on the whole stock market, the volume's only 40 million. So that tells you something that these other stocks that you're looking at are 100 million, 200 million volume. That's absolutely ridiculous. So even NEO's 40 million. All right, next one is NVIDIA. And I would want to be buying at least at a month support, which is right around $515. If you can see, but you might even want to buy at 530 to 550 maximum. And you can even swing trade it back up to $600 or hold this one for a long term because it's a great, great company to have, especially if you're getting in at $500 a share. $550, if you get in that high, make sure you are going to be holding for long term. Okay, so the next one's a great long term position, CRSP, CRISPR. And it's down 18% in the last month, up 52% in the last three months. And this is a great swing trade, all the way up to about $200 a share if you buy right now at about $160. Now, I would be buying right around $150 if you can, $155, which would might be a little bit hard to get as low as $150. But if you are getting in, you can easily swing trade up, make a great percentage of about 20 to 30 to 40% on this CRISPR stock. But the good thing about this one, it's in the genomic sector again. Remember that we talked about earlier in the video? So it's also a great long-term hold. If you're looking for more than 30 to 50% gains on a swing trade, then you can also hold this one for long-term. And it could be a good one to stuff in your retirement fund, your Roth IRA, and just forget about it and see it grow and grow and grow over the years. Now, the next one's a great long-term stock that we've already made money on in the last three months, up 36%. This is a stock that we've actually seen Kathy Wood buy some big positions in, so you might want to look up that and see how much she owns. But if we can buy in at this stock right around 80 to 85, maybe even 90 if you're holding for a long-term, that's going to be a great long-term play. Now, what I like about Fastly is it is a great swing trade play. If it does get as low as 80 again, you can easily swing trade it back up to about 115 because look at how many times we've seen the support and resistance. Even back at August 4th, it went to 115 and then back down to 75 and then back up to 125 and then back down to 60 to 75. So it happens all the time. And for this stock to be getting back down to 80 to 85, I think it's super realistic and I think we are setting itself up for a great swing trade or even a long-term hold. Okay, so the next one on the list that we have to talk about is GM. And here's a long-term hold, guys, because they are turning into the EV, EV space. So this is definitely one you want on your list. I'm going to be buying right around 40 to 45, and I won't be buying higher than that. If I miss out on GM, oh well, I'm already in Tesla and NEO and Workhorse and a few others too. So I'm not really worried about it like Xping and Lee. So GM is the least of my concerns. But if it gets as low as 40 to 45, I'm definitely interested in it for a long-term hold. All right, and the next one on the list is Dropbox. It's one that we've made a lot of money on so far ticker symbol dbx it's one of my bigger positions and this is just one of my accounts i also have a couple thousand dollars on a few other accounts we're up over 17 percent, but we've made more than that because we sold it when it popped up to 24 and we bought when it went lower it's back up to 24 again we might take some profits on monday but the thing is i'm gonna probably be buying because i think now is the time where it's going to be shooting up to 30 dollars a share even 
$40 a share. So instead of looking at penny stocks, I'd be looking at stocks like this that just haven't hit their pop yet. Instead of, you know, most of the stocks are reversed. You guys are looking at stocks that are way, way up here. They're like at the very top. They've already shot up a lot. Look at Dropbox. They haven't hit their, their growth spurt yet. So really, you want to find stocks that haven't hit their growth spurt yet. Because if Dropbox gets acquired by a big company, it, it's a stock that can go to $200 in the next five years. So honestly, I want to be buying this stock right around $20 to $22 and holding for a long term. Or a, even a swing trade if it hits $35 pretty quick or even $30 pretty quick. I'll probably be taking some of my position out. For example, I have $1,000. If it hits $30, probably take out about $300, let the $700 remaining ride for a long term, and the higher it goes, the more I'll take out. If it goes to $40, I'll even take out even more. And the last one we have to talk about is Mara, beautiful Mara, ticker symbol M-A-R-A. -A. This is one that you want on your list. It's following Bitcoin, so if you can't invest in Bitcoin because of where you live at, or you can't do an option on Bitcoin and you want to do an option, this one and Riot, R-I-O-T, are the two best stocks in the stock market that are actually following Bitcoin to a T because they are a mining company that actually mines the cryptocurrencies. We've made a lot of money on Mara. We have more on my other account. We're up 95% now on Mara. And we've been talking about this one in the close friends group constantly. Remember, guys, it's following Bitcoin. And what did Mr. Elon Musk, the smartest man in the world, just do? He bought Bitcoin at about $4,000 a coin. So if he's buying Bitcoin now, that implies that now is a good time to get into Bitcoin. But keep in mind, he's probably holding for long term. So you definitely probably want to hold for long term, but that doesn't mean there's not short gain potentials in Mara, in Riot, in Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and all those ones too. So I would be waiting for a dip if you are not in it. If you currently are in Bitcoin and Mara, it's definitely a hold for now. But if you aren't in it, I would be waiting for a dip um, right around $30 a share for Mara. I think it's a good price point. Then you can swing it or hold it for long term. If you guys want more information, though, like Mara, for example, we made a lot of money on Mara. We made a lot of money on other ones, too. As you can see, I'm up $4,000 in the past month, up $9,000 in the past three months. And as of now, we have over 150 testimonials on my page. So, so if you go to the daily stock market on Instagram, we're about to hit 60000 followers on instagram if you go to actually where it says student success you can look through all of these testimonials yourself and see there's over a hundred and i even made we had so many of them we had to make a new highlight it's called success number two these ones are more recent so you can actually read through some of these highlights and see all the money that everyone's making go to my page you can read it on your own time. This is one that made um, some money on Mara. I bought at $18 when you said to buy, and now it's at $31. I'm up almost 56%, and it's a lot more now. This was a couple days, about a week ago too. So feel free to go through those. It's on my page, The Daily Stock Market. If you want to be a, a part of the list yourself and you want to join, go ahead and DM me on Instagram. I have hundreds of DMs that I have to get through. So there is a lot of people. If I don't get back to you right away, I'm sorry, but I will return you your uh, message. Just go ahead and reach out to me on Instagram and I will return it. It just might take a little bit of time to get to me. And I'm most responsive during trading hours. Oh yeah, I am shutting my list too. I forgot to tell you guys, I am shutting down my list. So if you do want to sign up, let me know ASAP because I am shutting the list for the rest of the month. And I know this was a long video, so I won't keep you guys too much longer. I won't keep the intro too much longer. Comment on this video, leave a thumbs up, share it with your friend if you did like it and if they can find value in it too. Don't forget to subscribe for the full videos on YouTube. And I know you said that you guys like the long videos too. This one might have been a little bit too long, but I really wanted to drive home some points here. And we had a lot of stocks to talk about that a lot of people wanted me to cover too. So I appreciate you guys sticking with me to the end. 
if you guys made it till the end of this video, comment below with four money signs in your post, in your comment, so I know you stayed until the very end. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. And remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.